All right then, so we started the toolbar in the last video. What I'd like now is a little button over here that when we click it, we see some kind of navigation draw pop out from the left. So first of all, let's do the drawer itself. Then we'll look at doing the button, okay? So back in the navbar.view, what I'm gonna do is come underneath the toolbar and we're gonna create a new component which is gonna control the, or rather not control it, but rather show the navigation draw. So this is V hyphen, navigation hyphen draw okay so then this right here is going to be up just to make the positioning better and then inside what i'm going to do is just do a p tag which says test and also i'm going to give this a class equal to indigo now if i save this and view it look in a browser mm, we don't actually see anything now that's because this doesn't show by default. Now we can control the visibility of this thing using a model or V model in view. So what we can say is V model is equal to, I don't know, we'll call this draw. Then we need to make this on our data down here. So data and inside we'll return an object. And inside this object, we need a property called draw and we'll set this equal to true. So we're setting this equal to true and the V model is looking at this, seeing that it's true and now it should show. So if I save it, we can see, oops, if I save this again, go to the browser. If we refresh, then we should see this right here. Pretty sweet, right? Now, if we click over here, then it closes the drawer. Now we can't open it again. So what I'd like to do now is have a little button up here that we can click, which controls the visibility of this drawer. So if we think about it, when we click on this little button, what we really want to do is control this thing down here. When we click it, we want it to be true. Now by default, I want this to be false so that it doesn't show when we first refresh the page and save that. And what I'd like to do is come up here and just above the toolbar title, we're gonna now use a V hyphen toolbar hyphen side hyphen icon. Now this icon, by default is gonna look like those little three lines right here, okay? So now when we click on this, we want it to open that drawer. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna give this a class equal to gray hyphen hyphen text, just to make it the same color as the title, that looks a bit better. Okay, secondly, when we click on it, what do we want to happen? Well, first of all, let's say at click to attach this click event. Then what we want to do is make draw the opposite of what it currently is. So if it's false, we wanna make it true. If it's true, we wanna make it false. So all we need to do is say on click, draw is gonna be equal to whatever it currently isn't. So we put an exclamation mark before it to reverse it like so. So if it's currently true, then we put an exclamation mark in front of it to say now it's gonna equal false, the opposite of true. So save that and let's view this in a browser. And if we click on this now, we can see this draw come out. Now, what I'm actually gonna do is go to the code and take off this app prop right here and save it again. And if we go over here now and try to preview this, notice it doesn't really work. So that's why we need this app prop over here. Save that. And now if we go over here, it does work, okay? So there we go, that is a navigation draw. All we need to do is create this component set a model to that component, which controls whether it shows or is hidden. And then we add the side icon to the toolbar with a click event, which changes the draw property down here from false to true or from true to false, okay? And by the way, just one quick thing. When I click on this, you'll notice it comes over the toolbar, but that's because I'm zoomed in. That's the behavior for slightly smaller screens. If I zoom to normal size, you're gonna notice that when I click on this, it actually squashes this up to the right and it doesn't go over it. So this would be for desktops, okay?